Good morning, folks. Welcome to another beautiful morning out here in West Vancouver. As you can see, we have sunshine today, even though we have snow. They're saying that there's a big snow coming again tomorrow. Um, but yeah, all the snow is melting. You can just see the water dripping from the roof here and the icicles. And um, it's a beautiful day. It's actually, ow. Okay, bumped my head on the icicles up here. Normally I fit underneath, but you know, maybe I should look up there. Okay, folks, I was going to make a video in my normal spot, but because of the white glare and the brightness, I came out pitch black. So um, you can't see me, I just one big shadow. So um, I decided I'll just take you on a little walk up on the other side of the neighborhood and show you why I am hurting today. Check this. So um, you see the footsteps here? Connor actually decided last night, what was it? It's like five, six o'clock in the dark that he wants to walk to McDonald's. I offered to drive him, but he's now he wants to go for a walk. So in the snow, the kid walked all the way down to Park Royale, um, got himself a McDonald's and then walked all the way back. I must say, I'm actually very impressed. It took him about two and a half hours, but um, he did it, which is cool. All right, so <laughs> yesterday I got out here, heard a noise, and I saw the neighbor busy clearing this stretch of road so i jumped in and between me and the neighbor we basically cleared this whole road so i can tell you what today i am hurting <laughs> um, my back is in pain my arms are sore all the muscles that you don't normally use you know when you are busy shoveling snow it's not just uh it's a kind of different muscles that work, so I'm a little stiff today. But it's okay, you know. I mean, it's cool. <laughs> it is pretty out here. But I don't think I've got the guts like Connor to walk all the way down to Park Royale because, don't get me wrong, it's pretty, but it's cold and slippery, very icy. And is it better to walk in the snow or on the shoveled area? Ah, they scraped. Yesterday this road wasn't scraped either. So people were struggling. We actually had a... We actually, when we went out the other night, when we came back, we found the people with a car down there that just couldn't get up the hill. Um, stopped and asked if I could help and they said, no, no, don't worry. They got it covered, somebody's on the way. Um, but that's a general thing in this hilly areas where you have people that can't get out. Wow, look at the view. Vancouver. It is a beautiful day, man. Well, I got my winter tires now, so I think I might just head out a little bit later. Apparently this day is gonna stay like this, nice and warm and pretty and sunny. And then tonight, um, a new weather pattern is coming in that's gonna cause more snow to for tonight and tomorrow and we'll see how that goes ha <sighs> like i said it is not warm out but i got my layers so i'm okay it's just my nose that's freezing and this uh, fluffy snow over here is turning into like really hard ice I think they said today the temperature, the max temperature is three degrees Celsius. So it's actually going to warm up. That's why some of the snow is melting. Is melting. It's um, it is cool and stunning out here. 
You know, it's funny. Um, so uh, people have been, uh, uh, Cheyenne Bush actually shared uh, a video with me a while ago, that video, uh, Vancouver is dying. And I never got around to watching it because, you know, I just kind of got busy with work and stuff. And I managed to watch it yesterday. And it's just amazing how much different perspectives there can be on this on one thing you know how differently people can see the same thing just helps makes you wonder about truth sometimes you know people throw the word truth around and go oh but this is the truth or this is a fact what they don't understand is that truth and fact even though it is technically a fact or it technically is a truth that's not what counts it's how you interpret it and everybody's truth or facts are different the moment it enters their minds because it's wit what how they interpret it how it makes how it fires in their brains i mean the similar same thing can have a completely different meaning to two different people anyway um, i'm not going to go into that too much my my big project for today is I'm actually going to take that video of Vancouver is dying where they talk about um, you know the the crime and drug problems in Vancouver and I'm going to do a little bit of a what do they call it a dissection on it so commentary I'm going to play some pieces from the video and then I'm going to comment on it and you know just give my point of view as somebody that's here so keep a lookout for that probably either later tonight or tomorrow morning I'll push that out because I think it's important you know remember that just as much as these videos are my opinion and my point of view and the way that I experience things and the way that I see things it's exactly the same for every other filmmaker and for every other journalist it's the way they see things and it's the way they experience it and the important thing is to you know to make up your own mind and the important thing is to always look at different sides of the facts too you know not just make all your conclusions based on on one video or one piece that you read we all do it i do it all the time i read something and i'm like oh my gosh this is crazy or i watch something and i'm like oh man this is chaos and then later when you read some other content and you actually start thinking about it you're like well okay yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> um it's not without merit but it's also not the end of the world you know, me and my mate Moritz always used to say the end of the world is a big bang. You know, it's when that planet destroying um, asteroid hits Earth and the whole thing explodes and we're all dead. That's the end of the world. Anything else is just this minor setback. You just, you know, you've got to wake up and deal with it again. Let's go have a look here in a little park and go to the lookout point it's amazing also sorry I'm all over the place but um, it's funny when you come out in the morning after a fresh snow and you see all the all the footprints animals that were walking around at night there's a lot of animals around um, Jeez, and a lot of people came for a walk. I guess it's everybody with their dogs. Pets are a big thing these days. Sometimes one day, you know, I get it. We, oh, jeez, this dog shat all over the place. Sorry for the word. <laughs> um, I get it, but I mean, when we grew up, we had our dogs and we loved our dogs and we loved our pets. But they were just pets you know they were just companions it's almost these days if is as if dogs and animals are like kids 
It's ridiculous the amount of money I hear people spending on vet bills and treatments for their pets. I mean, we just grew up in a different era, I suppose. You know, in our days, grandfather and father, you know, if the dog, he's your favorite family dog, but if he got sick or he got hurt, you, um, you ended his life and, you know, you eased his suffering. Nowadays, it's thousands and thousands of dollars. Ah, this is the little viewpoint in our little park. I mean, it is pretty out here when you look at everything and you've got these white flat surfaces everywhere. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, yeah, so back to pets. There's a lot of people with pets and a lot of people with animals that I guess they have to come out every day. Which is probably not a bad thing, you know. If you got a little doggy, you got to go and walk him every day because that's another thing. When I grew up, you know, our dogs were outside dogs. They lived outside the house. Um, nowadays, every dog here is an inside dog. Um, well, I suppose we also were living on the farm, which makes a difference. Um, Wow, this is peaceful and serene, eh? Picture perfect. Except for the dumbass that thought it's a good idea to write their name on the dustbin. Anyway. Okay, well, cool. I just thought I'd take you for a little walk, but I gotta kinda get home, head home, so. Let's go back. I can't be sitting here the whole day. Still have some work to do. Although, it would have been really nice um, to not have to be working anymore. But we'll get there one day, we believe. <laughs> we must actually go for a hike up in the forest. I think we must see what the weather is like Friday. This is, today is actually a perfect day for this. Hey? Although I don't know, hiking up in the mountains and snow. And then of course the weather here can change in a flash. I mean, it could be beautiful and sunny right now and half an hour from now it could be stormy and rainy and snowy and dark. So maybe I should uh, Get some experience first or go with somebody that's done it before but it is cool of course the thing with the layers is it's freezing outside but I'm sweating inside from this short little walk it's actually nuts it's um it's weird when you think about it. Everything that we have these days. I read a book uh, quite a while ago about life in the Yukon and in the like 1800s or something and it was nuts you know. I don't think any of us alive today will be able to survive in the circumstances those days. The guy that wrote the book was talking about how um, how he uh, <laughs> him and his wife were traveling out to his gold claim, which like was two weeks by sleigh by sled out into the wild. I mean, it's like hundreds of miles away from society, and they had a newborn baby, and how. You know, every time the baby wets himself or poops, they have to stop the sleigh um, make a fire, set up a tent. 
heat the thing up because you can't change the baby in the snow. So you're going to stop, set it all up, <coughs> um, change the baby, fix everything, back up, break down, and then you can carry on. I mean, it's crazy. Um, these days, you know, I can hardly walk around the block without um, breathing loud. <laughs> Look at the little trees over here. So cool. I guess these are snow clearing guys. Hey, here we go. Good morning. She's occupied. So that's obviously one of the things um, people out here do. The ones that have enough cash, you just hire somebody to come and clear your driveway. They come and um, blow it, scrape it, and then uh, salt it. They're not like us plebs that have to do it ourselves. Um, yeah, you guys must forgive the loud breathing. Um, oh my gosh. Whoa, that's quite an ice build up. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> So that's obviously from driving around you've got the ice thrown up by the tires and it's frozen in the wheel wells it's uh it's hectic it's amazing how things just when it gets really cold kind of i don't know stop working i've been having issues with the camera with the memory cards. I've been just little things, nothing major. But just because it's cold, it just, you know, some things just work slightly less well. It's funny. Whew. Connor was saying yesterday while he was walking, he was saying how serene. You know, he was actually texted me while he walked down to McDonald's and he insisted on walking. He's like, oh, this is weirdly peaceful. And I'm like, wow, man. But it is. I mean, even walking down here now, talking to you guys. It is weirdly peaceful. It's beautiful. It's quiet because not too many people are going to be out in this snow and ice well not in our area anyway suppose when you hit the city and town um ambleside marine drive there'd be a lot of traffic but over here yeah oh okay, it was kind of early-ish also 9 a.m oh of course that's the other thing today is winter solstice so it's the official start of winter and it's also the shortest day of the year so from here on in, it's going to get um, better, only better. <laughs> Tell you what, that was something that kind of caught me a little bit this winter. It's like it, only sun, sun peaks out at 8 a.m. and by 4.30 it's gone again. That was, um, that was rough. I don't know, for some reason it, um, it uh, caught up to me a little bit more this winter. Last winter it wasn't that bad. Maybe it's the way I was sitting at my desk right now in the, in the previous house. I had my back to the windows, you know, so if I sat working, I didn't really see it. And then of course, I guess the other thing is, um, I in the previous house, Melinda took the bus most of the time. No, I don't know. I wanted to say she took the bus most of the time so I wasn't out in the dark in the evenings. 
but I went and picked her up probably by stop anyway. Whereas this here from this house, I can't expect my poor wife to walk up this hill, so I just go drop her off. It's literally easier. It's about a five or seven minute longer drive to drop her off at work than it would be to drop her off at a reasonable bus stop. So we've just been doing that. Although she's on leave now for the rest of the year, which is cool. School is closed until January. Belinda's on leave until January. Um, and we're all just taking it a little easier. This is a serious hill, folks. It might not look like it, but um, this is a killer. <laughs> Angelique and her friends hate this hill. They, um, they walk up this hill from the bus stop and they also have to stop a couple of times before they get to the top. It might not look as steep, but it is. This is also the hill that I keep on slipping when I come down here. I decided not to drive down this hill in the snow. Because every single time almost I go down here, the car starts sliding, which um, <coughs> I guess it's just, you know, it's just a little too steep. Look at that. Whew. Whew. Man. Huh. Alright, we're almost there. We're going to get one last nice view of the bridge and everything from the top. And then I've got to go get back to work. No need to go to the gym today. Oh. Alright. Okay, bear with me. I need to get to an easier section. Oh. It is kind of pretty out here, isn't it? I, uh, I love that about the snow. What I don't love about the snow is when it becomes ice and sludge. But then again, here in Vancouver, one of the key benefits here is that, um, you know, we'll probably get rain next week and that will wash away all the snow and ice. So we don't have to, well, put it this way, the sludgy, dirty part of snow doesn't last as long as in other places because our rain washes it away oh okay i've graced it Whew. i mean look at that You just see white on the mountain. It's so pretty. All right. Of course, the biggest issue I have with working outside or walking like this is that I'm all hot inside, all cold outside, and my glasses fog up. So I hope I'm recording where I'm going. Because with this tiny little screen on this um, camera, I can't see much. And then you add to it the fact that my glasses are all fogged up. I'm basically operating on instinct here. <laughs> uh. 
clear blue skies, crisp morning air, and beautiful white snow. That is awesome. Anyway, folks, so yeah, please remember to keep an eye out for that other video where I'm going to talk about that Vancouver is dying film. Um, you know, I have some opinions around it. I don't think everybody's going to, well, you're never going to please everybody, but um, anyway. Oh, look at that. Vancouver in the distance. Whew. I must say, I suppose, you know, I find the white and snow absolutely beautiful because it's not necessarily something I'm used to. I wonder how Canadians feel that have to live with it every year. I mean, do you just still find it beautiful or are you just like, oh no man, it's snowing again. Interesting. Huh. Steep hills. I should have, should, have, should have done this when I was much younger. <laughs> Or much fitter for that matter. Oh. All right, let's get one last view out over the bay. Oh, there are a few clouds forming, and I believe the next storm is coming from that side. So maybe we don't have a whole day of sunshine. We'll see. Oh. All right. Okay, folks. I think I'm going to sign off. You all must have an absolutely wonderful day. And keep an eye out for the next video. Cheers.